from witnessing the overwhelming amount of social justice issues brought to light over the last couple of months, to the heartfelt conversations I had with my mentor over a cup of coffee. Something I felt resonates so deeply with me over the course of this pandemic was the reality of my own brokenness. Over the last few months, God has revealed to me some of my deepest, deepest sorrows, and he has completely stripped me down to reveal my greatest flaws. Yet here I was, ever so confident that I am still loved by my Heavenly Father. Because of his good grace and work of the cross, even in the midst of my brokenness, I am blameless before him. And this, this truth is what set me free moving me to inspire some change in you. This season of suffering has led me to believe that everyone in this world is suffering and broken in some way, shape, or form. We all come with a narrative that deserves to be heard. Even when I'm in a conversation with someone, I often catch myself so quick to get out what's on my mind and wonder about how I can respond next. But when I start to let go of my own thoughts, in these moments of pure listening. I allow myself to share the feelings and the sentiments of this person by immersing myself into their story. For a moment, not tied down by my own beliefs, opinions, and attitudes, but rather meeting the person where they are. Learning to perceive people through their stories open up a gateway to understanding how a person experiences life differently than ourselves we begin to see the world with a greater lens. I always find it such a blessing to listen and hear about the extraordinary milestones and the hardships that comprise a person of who they are because that empowers me to love them further. I find it challenges how I respond or how I conduct my manner towards them in light of their circumstances because I know that it must not be easy. The art of stepping into someone's shoes connects people so beautifully because it recognizes our differences, making us unique and and that's okay. So this is to all of you who have a story to tell the world. Maybe your story consists of fighting the constant battle against racial injustice or being victim to the countless humanitarian crises that occur year after year, grabbing the media's attention only to be shortly forgotten about. Maybe your story embodies the struggles of the COVID-19 pandemic, whether you had to say goodbye to a loved one, or whether your mental, physical, or spiritual health was tested beyond what you thought you could handle. My heart goes out to all of you. Even if none of this applies to you, you deserve to be heard. And when you feel like no one's listening, I hear you. So I want to challenge you to create a space that welcomes vulnerability and encourages love as you lend your ears to someone who can benefit from simply being heard.